Without this, you can't be yourself. You can't be a true you, the person you are inside. With this, you'll feel empowered to be yourself, not worrying about what other people think of you, and getting to understand yourself better. And it can start to truly be who you really are. The subject I'm talking about here is seek. So what do I mean by seek? I mean to seek to understand who you really are. Why is that important? Because you need to go back into your past to understand the steps and process of how you got where you are today. Without doing that, you truly won't understand who you are. Sometimes the past will dictate where you currently are. It might not be obvious to you now, but somewhere down the line when you think about it, the influence from your parents, the influence from your environment growing up as a child, many things impacted you to be here where you are today. It doesn't have to be traumatic, it doesn't have to be massive, but something impacted you to be where you are today. Think about that. That's why it's important. The best place to start is to reverse engineer where you are now, take little steps backwards to better understand yourself. You need to seek to understand yourself. Most people believe to move forward in life, you have to look forward. I'm here to tell you actually you need to go backwards to understand where you are today. Because if undealt with, the past will slowly creep up on you and then that's what it impacts you the most and you won't truly move forward in life. Even if you're successful in life, the impact from the past will still come your way. And that might not be obvious and show up in different ways. In fact, I'm gonna read something out today from Psychology Today, so bear with me. Attachment research shows that in order to free ourselves from the past, to form healthier relationships and show up today as a person we want to be, we need to make sense and feel the pain of our past and our story. When we fail to face unresolved pain from our childhood, we have many, often unconscious ways of repeating it. These repetitive patterns are not intentional or thought out. The big and small traumas from our early lives may not consciously feel like they're dictating our action, but instead come out in different ways. For example, in partners we choose, in critical attitudes we have with ourselves, and dynamics we create with our own children. Events from our present day lives trigger implicit memories that are often painful and cause us to react rather than act on our own best interest. In this sense, we're often reliving rather than living our lives, filling prescriptions rather than forging our own path. So that's from Psychology Today. I think of it as like buying a present. So would you buy someone the same present again? You wouldn't. You'd go to seek to understand what they like and what they, you bought them in the past to make dictate and shape what present you might buy them today. So I'm asking you that question. Do you feel lost in your life at the moment and feel like you can't be you, can't be the person you want to be? Do you want to feel accepted by your loved ones, friends and family of who you really are? I say the time is now to deal with your past head on. I'm going to leave you with this quote. To prove anything in your life, you must start with self. If you've enjoyed the videos I put out recently, please consider subscribing below and hit that like button.